at Vertex, when we uncover new ideas, technologies, targets, or potential therapies, we innovate to help us bring those ideas into the real world. Come behind the scenes with us to learn about the innovative cell and genetic therapy manufacturing process. This journey begins with a patient where cells are collected to be shipped to the manufacturing facility. It's important to protect these cells from contamination, so they are handled in highly controlled and sterile environments. Operators carefully gown up into sterile and secure outfits, and all materials are passed through increasingly more sterile rooms, with sanitation happening each step of the way. Next, the cells must be cleaned and sorted, so only the cells needed for potential therapies are left. They are often sorted through a machine that uses magnetic beads to hold on tight to the cells we want and washes everything else away. Next, the cells are spun together into a pellet before they move into a warm incubator to give them time to grow. These cells require careful handling and modification in order to become potential therapies. To do this, materials must get inside the cell. One way to do this is with electroporation. For electroporation, all the key components are mixed together and then introduced to the cells in the electroporation machine. Electroporation uses a small electric shock to open channels on a cell's surface to allow the materials to enter the cell. The cells now rest again inside the incubator. After the cells have rested, they need to be harvested. Once harvested, additional materials are added to the solution to help safely preserve the cells. The cells are then filtered and filled into pre-assembled and sterilized vials, inspected and then labeled. A small sample of cells are kept for testing to make sure they meet specific parameters and are functioning properly. The cell vials undergo a slow and precise freezing process in order to safely store them. An automated program slowly cools them to very cold temperatures before they are stored in liquid nitrogen. Then, the frozen cells are ready to be shipped back to a patient's doctor. Throughout the manufacturing process, the cells are carefully tracked to ensure the right cells are returned to the right doctor, and ultimately, return back to where they came from, the patient. 